Hi, you guys. It is your girl, Pretty Girl Peeps. So, um, normally I'd be filming this part at the start of my day. Um, so, I'm going to kind of take you guys on my self-care for the week. That's Melly here in the background. She's eating and drinking her milk before bedtime. Um, but I don't want to do this in the morning. I don't want to be talking in the morning. I just want to do this stuff so that she doesn't hear me in the morning and wake up. So, a part of my self-care is in the mornings, especially mornings when I can actually wake up on time before work. Um, I like to make a thing of tea. So, the teas that I like, I don't know why she's tripping. I'm about to show y'all meal. <laughs> so, she said hi. So, I either drink this lemon ginger tea, which has probiotics in it, or this green tea with lemon. And she's watching Frozen too. There's nothing wrong with her at all. But I knew if I tried to do this in the morning, she wouldn't be screaming, but she would wake up, which is going to just defeat the purpose of me trying to do all this. So then what I do, one of my really good friends, Erica, she got me this little binder book, which every day it has like a different saying or a different quote or something like that. So I typically will um, scroll to the next one. And yes, my nail is broke. I'm going to get these done tomorrow, which hopefully if this vlog goes right, you guys will see some of that process as well. Um... So I normally flip to whatever day it is. So today is June 7th. Tomorrow will be June 8th. And I kind of read like the quote. So like the one for today says, if you talk about it, it's a dream. If you envision it, it's possible. But if you schedule it, it's real. And that's by Tony Robbins, who's a life coach. So I'm going to pause for a second because I don't know what's going on with her. So she's in all actuality probably acting this way because um, it's about her bedtime. So that's why I have her over there eating so that she can eat before bed and have a full stomach. I'm trying to do this for her, right? So anyway, after I, maybe doing this in the morning wouldn't have been a bad, a bad idea at this point. But this is part of my vlogs, and this is why I do my self-care in the morning, because I can't really do it when she's screaming and doing all this stuff like that. She's out of control right now, y'all. I don't know what she got going on. Okay, so the vitamins that I use every morning are the Vitafusion Women's Supercharged Multivitamin. So yes, that's... Get my nails done by Lala. Okay, you guys. Oh God, that music is so loud. I didn't realize the music was that loud. So this lash is lifting and this lash is lifting because it's been a very long day. <laughs> However, I got my grippers done. Gotta go home and wash my hands. Um, but yeah, did get the grippers done. So about to run to CVS really quick. See how I'm the K95. About to run to CVS. Then I'm about to go to um what was I gonna say? Then I'ma run and go to um I'ma run and go to um then I'ma run and go home. Alright, bye. So CVS was closed. So not gonna go to CVS. All right. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna show you guys I used to prep for my wax appointment is gonna be the Gillette Venus Skin Smoothing Exfoliant. And um, you can get this at Target. I also added it to my Amazon cart, so I used that. Um, I also used to freshen up the Honey Pot Feminine Wash. I tabulate between the normal and the sensitive. Um, this is just to make sure I'm cleansed and smelling good, smelling great before I go. Um, and then I um, also take with me, just in case I have to use the bathroom while I'm there, I take the Honey Pot um, Sensitive Wipes to wipe myself. And then for the pain, um, I typically will pop an ibuprofen about 30 minutes to an hour before. That's a little trick that I've learned, and it does help your girl out. Okay, you guys, so continuing the self-care, self-love, things that I'm doing this week. Just got a Brazilian sugar wax by Ashley, and um, it was super quick, and it was almost painless. 
which is which is a good thing. But it was super quick. We talked the whole time, and she did a great job. So y'all come see Ashley. Yes, come see me. I'm gonna put her booking information in the bio, so you guys be on the lookout for that. I'm feeling like a whole new woman down there. I don't think I can do nothing for a while, right? I'm supposed to wait a little bit. Just a day. Just a day. Okay. See, I told him to just a, just gotta wait a day. So that's a blessing. So yes. Well. No, you want to sit on here. <laughs> 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 your girl pretty girl peeps on my way to get this uh hair done this morning so this is the before and i'll come back to show you guys the after a little bit later I just want to say good saturday morning early as heck by the time you guys get this i'll probably have already gotten my hair done but just be sharing this as the before but yeah okay so i'm back home um a part of my self-care routine um I just went and got my hair done. I got a protein treatment, I got a trim, and then as you can see, I got my hair pressed out. I just wanted to wear it straight so that I could just wrap it the rest of the week because with curls and my hair texture, I knew it was just gonna fall, which as you can see, this is also falling, which is just straight, but at least it's just falling into straightness and it's frizzing up a little bit. But that's because I have really thin, really fine hair. My hair is always gonna poof out, it's always gonna do that. So it's kind of like, hopefully it's worth <laughs> the 115 that I just spent. And that's 115 plus tip. Then Father's Day is next weekend. And my husband, he actually goes to the same place to get his uh, locks twisted. So I actually surprised him and I paid for his services today as well. So his service plus tip was $80. So all together, I want to say today, I spent about $195 just at the hair salon for both of our services. Um, so yeah, but I love self-care. I was first one there, eight o'clock. Well, there were some people there, but like I was one of the first people there. Uh, got the service done. Like I said, it's hot in Michigan, which is not normal, but I normally don't really wear my regular hair out like that in the summer, just because I know my hair is going to poof up once it hits even the tiniest pocket of humidity and it was so humid outside. So this is maybe like an hour after I got my hair done. Um, so yeah. But at least it's clean. At least I got a protein treatment. I got a trim, which I needed. And my hair is back at shoulder length. So that's pretty dope. Um, my goal is to get it down here to bra length. So we're going to keep on working on that. Um, got it quite a ways to go. Um, but you see, stretched out about it right there. So yeah. Um, so that concludes this week of self-care. Um, so pretty much um, I had asked a question on Facebook, Instagram about how much women spend on self-care upkeep monthly so um this is just for one week i haven't got my toes done i haven't got my brows done yet this month so those costs will be additional but just this week alone 75 dollars for nails 75 dollars for the wax then um i just spent what almost 200 at the salon so looking at about 350 without my toes without my brows um bought some lashes so that's what ten dollars so um yeah it gets pretty pricey so uh, but I said it all to say still take care of yourself um you don't have to break the bank you can learn to do things yourself i'm clumsy i'm not good at doing things myself so i typically have to redo it a couple times which wastes more time and i ain't got time for that maybe you have more time maybe you ain't got kids um having a toddler is really hard to do a lot of stuff myself i can't do my nails myself because i have shaky hands uh so that's just not gonna happen um but you know self-care can be going to the library reading a book going to borders reading a book Okay, so I keep recording this part over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it just keeps getting deleted. So I'm gonna try one more time. So pretty much what I was saying was, self-care can be reading a book at Borders or the library or whatever you deem necessary to get that love and attention and care for yourself and for your mind and your body and your relaxation. So that's gonna be different for everybody. So pretty much what I winded up doing was like I showed you guys a few of the different things that I do, but I didn't include everything that I do monthly. So I made a post on Facebook and Instagram pretty much asking women how much they spend with the pink tags on 
you know, things per month. So the range was from 300 to a thousand. So I was like, oh, I'm probably at like 300, 400. When I totaled everything up, I was more so at $600 for everything. So, and that's not even including like, say for instance, today I'm getting a fill in. So I didn't even include something like that. So I'm probably closer to like 650 a month, but that's if I had to buy everything from scratch for the month. So I'm gonna kind of quickly break that down. So I break, broke it down into like categories. So the first category is like feminine hygiene. So that's like 90 to $100. So that's stuff like deodorant, body wash, body scrub. I get a special body scrub from Sephora, that's $30. So that's a little bit pricey, but I really like the way it makes my skin feel. And I have really delicate um, acne prone, body acne skin. So that's why I really like this scrub. Um, tampons, I use the L organic tampons. Um, panty lighters, I use the L panty liners. Um, wipes, I use honey pot wipes. I use honey pot feminine wash. I tagulate between the regular and the sensitive. So those things cost. Then sometimes I'll get the little panty liner spray to spray underneath the panty liner, especially if it's that lady time. So the next category was body um, stuff. So that's like the stuff on my body acne. I get the Neutrogena grapefruit wash. Um, body butter, I typically get the Body Shop body butter lotion and I go to like Victoria's Secret or um, Bath and Body Works. And then perfume, I typically will buy like one travel size perfume um, like a month to kind of see if I like anything new to get a new scent going, things like that. So that category was, was about 165 between the feminine hygiene and the body. So then shaving and waxing was about 135. So a special exfoliant for my lady parts, which is pH balance and dermatologist and gynecologist re recommend it and that's by Gillette Venus by Gillette they have a pubic hair um special line so that's for that shaving cream also from that line razors that I buy um then my sugar wax is typically about $75 that's with tax for the Brazilian I get everything gone um and then eyebrows are typically about 15 or 20 it just depends if a I need to um if I'm getting them regularly done or if I need to um, get a tint because sometimes I do get a tint. So then hair was about $155. So hairstylist between like $80, $100 with tip. Shampoo that I buy, the Mayo Organics is typically like $10, $15. The conditioner is about $10. Um, deep conditioner, I like the Camille Rose. So that's typically about $20. And then a little accessories here and there be about $15. Sometimes I may pick up like a little quick ponytail or wig or something like that. So that may be between like $15, $50, depending on what I pick up. Then as far as nails, that's about $125. My hands are typically about $75 and my feet are about to are about $50, I'd say. And then a little trick I've, I've learned with the pedicure to kind of not have to get two in a month is I just get a polish change. Like if they're starting to look crazy, I get a polish change. Then the next time will be the pedicure to save some money. So then next is makeup. I typically spend from 50 to 100. So that may be me buying new lashes or me buying new makeup that I need to play in. And then skincare, you know, I like Neutrogena. I like different things like that in masks. But typically I get a lot of my stuff from PR kits for free. So that's from like Pixie, Makeup Revolution, um, Urban Skin RX, Drunk Elephant. So I say this all to say I started looking at my budget because I was spending a lot of money and I needed to know where it was coming from. And a lot of it was coming from that and I felt guilty. But then I realized, especially as a mother, a working full-time mother, I be needing that time to myself. I be needing it. I be needing it. So I'm going to spend it. But I realized not everybody can. So, and I have shaky hands. I can't do my nails myself. I, some, you see, this was after I did my hair out and slapped it in a little bun. Some things just ain't my specialty. So I'm going to have to pay twice to get somebody else to do it. I mean, to not get somebody else to do it. I might as well just get somebody else to do it. But everybody's different, and I know if I, if I couldn't afford these things, I would not get them done, or if I had to sacrifice, I would sacrifice. But when I can afford them, especially me, like I said, being a working mom, these things are important that I try to keep myself together. And then I feel like I'm not one of those type of people who splurges on, like, clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I get stuff like that very seasonal, very quarterly. So, like, I just did, like, a um, Fashion Nova order and a Shein order. So I'm probably going to do a haul on that stuff, but... It's not like every single day I'm buying new clothes. So I feel like I can't afford to take care of the other parts. So that way I look good no matter what I got. But yeah, so that's that's the end of this vlog. I hope you guys are really liking my vlogging series. Let me know what you guys want, want to see me vlog about next. And I already know you guys are probably going to want me to turn the camera this way. I'm actually about to start recording with my camera. So 
It's your girl, Pretty Girl Peeps. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on all social media platforms at Pretty Girl Peeps.